good Saturday afternoon everybody of course by the time you see this video it probably won't be Saturday afternoon but I figured for a change here I'd toss in a farming video I'm opening up a new field of soybeans we're down to 30 acres of soybeans we haven't cut soybeans for oh it's been a couple weeks we had a rain delay there um, what's today's date the November the 6th, so the week before Thanksgiving, actually before that, or not Thanksgiving, sorry, your days all run together, um, Halloween, um, so Halloween was a week ago tomorrow. So it'll be before that. Anyways, we um, had some issues with the combine. We, it start, started off, um, we got done cutting soybeans, moved back home from another farm, our south farm, and then um, it went to raining. And one day, that was on a Friday, it started raining. And um, Saturday morning, my uncle just happened to go out to the shed. He'd, whoa, 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 whoa. Stick here. Anyways, that's eh, more than a stick. He went to, out to the pickup. He picked corn for a couple days because the elevator shut them off from soybeans because they were full. So he took corn. Then that Saturday, he went out and um. So he went out to the shed and he's all like, hey, the lights were on on the combine, but they shouldn't have been. The key was off, nobody was in there. Light switches were all off. So he would start the combine to get his pickup out of the shed because his pickup was behind the shed, combine was dead. So he's like, whatever. He took the my aunt's Tahoe. So. One of my co-workers went out there on Monday and did some diagnostics on it. It's like, well, it could be this or this. He's like, I'll order the parts, I'll have Heath come out and put them out later in the week. So, fast forward to the end of the week, the Friday before Halloween, I went out there, put some parts on it. Nothing happened, nothing. Um, it didn't fix nothing. Come to find out, I started doing some uh, electrical checks myself, and I had 12 volts on the negative side of the circuit, which is bad, which would meant there was a short to power. And it was back feeding through. So I fiddle farted with it, fiddle farted with it. Couldn't figure it out, so I got frustrated. And, um, Fast forward over the weekend, I, I went ahead and pulled the positive cables and the negative cables. Fast forward to um, last Monday, 
um, a different one of my co-workers friend of mine went out there and uh, he's like all right let me um, um, mess with it so he did and come to find out right off the bat he did some he followed some um, wire harnesses and he found where the harness shorted out and there was a fire and we didn't know it yeah bad deal um so i went out i we gathered up some stuff i went out the next day and i spent the following so we first things first we looked tried to find a new harness deer doesn't even have a new harness for this machine and as you can see it is still damp even though the beans are dry and they in the ground yeah the ground's still wet and it's still pushing but anyways so i spent two days out there ended up spending two days out there building a wire harness pulled the wire harness out of the left hand side and fixed fixed it uh, my boss put in an emergency order through deer to see if they won't build one. I don't know if they will. This combine's 20 years old. And you can't get a wire harness for it. But anyways, so. And my screen's locked up again. But anyways. Let me, um, get back to combining here for a little bit, get this field opened up, and we'll chat at you a little more. Okay, so I got my first bed full here. It's been kind of aggravating. My screen's locked up. It's still, the ground is still damp from... From the moisture um, it'll probably get better once I get out into the middle of the field but I had to get out several times and clean off my cutter bar because it was pushing so anywho um, like I said I just hadn't done a farming video this is our for a while this is our last 30 acres I am down here at the river bottom the corns on the north side of the railroad tracks um, I do have cards in my pocket just in case I get a free minute to run over to the timber and switch out my uh, flashcards. But haven't got to uh, haven't got to do much farming myself this year. But this year has been the uh, year for catastrophic failures at work. between combines uh, tearing up uh, chaffer frames and now we're tearing up hydrostats I did one last week and for you those of you that don't know what a hydrostat is that's what drives that's the propulsion system of the combine but anyways um, I did one last week I'm currently doing another one Some couple other guys at work did one out in the field and we had another one come in yesterday and I heard from a neighbor that a neighbor of his was going down the road this is coming from he does this guy does business at a um, another dealer out of another different dealer group but anyways he uh, this guy was going down the road and his hydrostat went out so it's been quite the harvest, I'll tell you. So, had to work this morning. So, another thing is, is I'm trying out my new uh, video camera glasses because I just, when you're hunting, you gotta have both hands, and I can't run a camera. And, 
a rifle at the same time, or my bow, so, but I can wear these glasses. So I have them on and they, I've tried them out a little bit. They actually have a better picture quality and a better um, sound quality than what my video camera does. So, nice load of beans here. They're testing about 12 and a half, which is good. They got the field most of the way, well, it's opened up along the west and south. Sorry if I'm moving too quick here. I'll try to get better at that, but. I'll show you guys real quick where that fire was. side no it's not sorry right here I had spliced this chunk of wire again and I see I have wires that have popped back out again So, Nobody ever said farming was easy. Nothing scarier than a uh, combine fire. I'm gonna make two passes here again, or one round. That'll give me enough room to turn around and give him a truckload. Three, thirteen. There's twenty seven acres down here, I think. I've probably mentioned that a couple times. Elevator closes at five, so we're gonna try to try to get everything loaded tonight. Should be able to do this in two big truckloads, I think. So I'll get back with you guys here in a little bit. Let me keep going, so. All right, so I got my first truckload off. The elevator closes in an hour. Got the field all, all totally opened up now, so just since this is bottom ground, basically it's just back and forth, back and forth. I don't know how guys, I'm not used to bot, you know, this is our only bottom. You know, we used to have more, but I don't know how guys with um, big fields do it, go back and forth all day. So what you see here is a well for the rural water district. There's another well, there's two wells on this farm. The other one's over there. Uh, and if it, tell you what, if it weren't for these two wells, um, 
back during the flood of uh, 2019, the city of Plattsmouth, where I live, south of Omaha there, our water uh, treatment plant, look at all the deer tracks out there. Anyways, our uh, water treatment and sewer treatment plants were both underwater. Bad, messed them up for a while. So they, uh, um, let me explain a little something here. Um, the so because my uncle, so the reason these wells were here was because at the time my uncle was on that particular water board and they needed the city of Plasmouth approached them because the municipalities, water districts, have to have two sources or two ways to get water in case one system goes down. They have to be able to back up, you know, in a hurry. Well, so the city of Plasmouth approached the rural water district to um, you know hey it's like hey we, we need to be able to have more water in a hurry just in case something was to happen so like okay so they discussed it and that's when they put that first well in and then they after a couple years it's like well the supply and demand we actually could use another well so or maybe they put that well in first and then put this well in, I don't remember. But anyways, within two years they built a second one. Well, when the flood of 19 hit, our water treatment plant went down. And actually in all the flood of 19, that creek went under and this whole, this whole bottom was underwater. But for only a couple days, so we got lucky. But, um, so they rushed down here. Plasmouth had enough water in their two towers that would supply them for, I don't know, it was it was long enough. But Cass County Rural Water also had other wells other places. Well, as soon as they got power hooked back up down here, they flipped the power onto these two wells, then flipped a valve and started supplying Plasmouth. Well, they, they supplied water here. They'll be back in a little bit. We're not gonna get it all done. My screen's locked up again. Really annoying. I even stopped and did a cold boot on it and that didn't help. Nobody ever said farming was easy or not frustrating because it definitely, it can test you. So, but when everything's running right, it sure is nice just to come out and go. It's relaxing to me. I mean, I know I get, I know I get as frustrated as the next farmer when stuff's not working right, because time is money. And they're talking in another weather system coming in here at the end of this next coming week. So. But we'll be done. We should be done with beans tomorrow. Then we can get back on corn. Then it won't be such a big deal. But I did. So hunting wise, uh, this coming week is the last full week of just archery season. Uh, November firearm starts Saturday the 13th and goes through till the following week. And I do have that whole week off. So. I will be hunting now. Let's hope it doesn't, I'm praying it doesn't rain too much. So that way I can get it down here to hunt, which talk with my uncle there are only 20 percent chances of rain and they're not talking much but even after talking with my uncle he's like you give it a half a day uh, if even if we get like 
20 hundreds of rain, quarter inch of rain. Give it a half a day of some sunshine and a little breeze, I'll be able to get back in down here. So that's the neighbor over there. I don't know if you can see very well. Neighbor over there in line ripping. I'm guessing where they pulled trucks in. So they have a corner out of this field that if we have repeatedly tried to buy but they won't sell it anyways so all right guys i don't know much else just thought i'd give you a little farming update maybe when we get to doing some corn i'll i'll do a corn video or something but i don't want to bore you too much so for all you guys out there that are hunting right now remember be safe have fun good luck i'll catch you guys on the next round for Plasmouth for I know for at least well well over a year so my uncle has since retired from them but they have a 99 year lease on those those two wells uh, not paying enough attention here. I miss some beans, but well, that it's dusty. But uh, so yeah. Anyways, that's what those are. So I'm just going back and forth. All right, everyone. So my apologies for the video cutting off so abruptly. Um, I don't know what happened, but I know I lost over five minutes of video. That I shot with my new glasses. Um, I know it was there when I downloaded it from my glasses to my computer. Um, I don't know. Anyways, here's my new glasses. Um, I don't remember uh, the name of them. I bought them off Amazon. They're they're um, cheap Chinese glasses. They do they do do a nice job. They have a nice picture. Nice, very clear picture, better than my camera, and then um, the sound is very clear. My only complaint about them, though, is, is that, so say, how do I want to explain this? So say, say if I was down to look at my feet, you, you would think that since, let's look, um, that since the camera is right here, that it, it's going to look at whatever you're looking at. That's not the case. So say if I was looking at my feet. It's not going to show my feet. It's going to look six inches to probably a foot ahead of my feet. So I have done some other videos trying these glasses out. And um, like when I was down at the river with the weed eater trying to clear the paths for my new tree stand. You, I was staring at the weed eater head following it as I was running it. And you didn't see any of that. All you saw was me basically just looking back and forth at the grass. And... Um, you heard weed eater noise, that's it. So, sorry if the video was a little shaky um, or rapid. Um, when you're opening up a new field, combining, um, especially along an old creek like I was going along. Um, there, was, there was trees and limbs and stuff from that July storm that were out in the middle of that bean field too. So I was watching for that. I had to stop a couple times and move some branches and um, the ground conditions were, were pretty tough. Um, I was very, very aggravated by the time I got done combining that day. The beans were dry, but the ground wasn't. So it pushed and then it plugged the cutter bar and then it just, I had piles all over the field. Now I finished this, that field the next day. Um, I got started about right at noon, the wind had been blowing, and the ground conditions were altogether different. It was actually relatively dry, so that helped, um, and then that day yet, um, there was only 10 acres there to finish, so I got it all on one big truckload. Got moved back to the farm, switched back over to corn yet that afternoon, and I still managed to go out and pick two, um, two loads of corn that night, and the family came out and rode rode with. I didn't have my glasses um, with me that day or anything, but 
again, sorry if it was real, you know, real rapid and stuff like that. I'll, I will get better with it and I'm going to practice with more, um, range of view, I guess you want to say, I don't, I don't know, but anyways, um, one other note, um, I seem to be having some problems with YouTube. I don't know what's going on, but I've had several friends, probably close to half a dozen people that follow my channel that say they never get, they have not been getting my notifications that my last three videos here. I, I'm so far ahead on videos right now that I basically have them scheduled out every Monday between five and 6 PM and they haven't been getting notifications. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, for, for the amount of subscribers that I have to my channel right now, which it's only about 30, I had been averaging like 26, 27 views per episode, which was, which was phenomenal for me. I thought that was great except for the last three episodes. But, um, or three videos that I posted. I don't know what's going on. Um, very aggravating, very frustrating. So anyways, sorry to drag this out. It's going to be kind of a long one tonight, but anyways, um, thanks guys for following along and sticking with me. Um, more to come November firearm starts. Well, it'll probably already be started by the time that this video comes out. So wish me luck. All you hunters out there. Good luck and be safe. See you next time.